Hi. Okay. So the question that you guys asked that you wanted me to answer was about kids and livers. So we're going to talk about kids, not toddlers and babies, but kids basically under about age 12. So dosage wise on anything that I would recommend, they're going to do about a half of an adult dose on things. That's how you determine what a kid's dose is unless I'm muscle testing them and I can be more specific and you've signed an informed consent form with me. So um, if you suspect that your child has candida overgrowth or they have digestion problems, they've been on antibiotics, if they've been on antibiotics at all, you do not want to ignore this because this is where we're seeing adults with all these food allergies and, and environmental allergies and asthma and eczema and autoimmune conditions and diabetes and all this stuff. We can prevent this if we start young. If you have a mom who has candida overgrowth or hormone imbalances and then gets pregnant and has a baby, she can pass that stuff on to baby. So Krista, to answer your question, absolutely, kids can have thyroid problems. I see it. I've seen it many, many, many times. Um, muscle tested and confirmed, and um, and then we support the thyroid and the gut and the liver, and, and they get better very quickly. Kids heal fast. Um, so, again, it's going to be repetitive stuff. Get them off the sugars. Um, all real food is good. It's just that mushrooms and beets and sugary stuff like potatoes are not good for somebody with candida overgrowth. So the same rules apply. If you missed that video, you've got to pull the kids off of the sugars. You're going to have to change their diet. You might have to do it kicking and screaming. And what you can't do with diet, we have to do with supplements and herbs. So let's just end the debate that of the people that want to do everything with food and think supplementation is wrong or people that want to supplement and never do anything to change their diet or lifestyle or want to just exercise but not do anything to change their diet and lifestyle. It's all in balance. You've got to have a good balance of all of it if you're going to try to fix problems. So let's do the stuff we can control. Train the, you know, train the whole family to eat less sugars and grains because it's going to help everybody. Um, that's going to take a load off the liver. Most people don't think about your liver being part of the digestive system and when you you pull the sugars and the sodas and the diet sodas and the processed foods out of the diet, you're taking a huge load off the liver. That is the start of detox. Um, if the conditions are more significant, like asthma, eczema, tons of allergies, or severe digest digestive problems, Keetra, you asked um, with the traumatic birth and lots of antibiotics, we've got to do supplements and herbs at that point. Um, we also, same as the last video, we can never avoid eating more veggies. So either you have to eat them or sneak them in through smoothies and um, or pureeing them and adding them to foods. Um, and that will get you so far. But if there's, there's pretty significant liver stuff going on, pretty significant allergies, we've got to add herbs and supplements. There's no way around it. So your protocols, um, these are all available on my website. When I give you specific names, I'm giving you specific names. Um, they're all available at wholesale costs through happyhealthychristian.com. Click on the store tab, go to supplements. It'll tell you exactly how to order. Um, and you get free shipping if you want to do the auto ship, which you can change every month. And there's no obligations when you shop with me. It's just like shopping with Amazon only. You support a ministry that brings the kingdom of God to, um, well, and more around the country now, um, more than it used to. So, um, your... First one, Silver Shield, must have anybody, any problems. It's a great daily maintenance. Um, you're going to be doing about a teaspoon twice a day for a child. And the bottle will say a teaspoon three times a day for an adult. But when I work with an adult with candida overgrowth or anything significant going on, um, I start them on two tablespoons per day. So... When you purchase the 16-ounce bottle that you see on my website, don't even waste your time with the 4 or 6-ounce. Get Go for the 16-ounce because you're going to use all of it. Um, if you're taking one tablespoon per day, a bottle will last you one month. So three teaspoons are a tablespoon. Um, so if that's the dose that you can afford or that you want to do, that will be a one-month supply for an adult. So a bottle's going to last you about a month and a half if you're treating a kid with candida overgrowth at one teaspoon twice a day. If it's a really young kid, like two, three, four, five years old, you start with a half teaspoon twice a day and just make sure the detox symptoms aren't too significant because kids aren't going to handle detox as well as we are. Um, they're going to think they feel sick and they're not going to like it. 
Um, and, and that's normal and that it's okay for that to happen. Um, but you just have to do what you can handle as a mom with your kids. Um, the probiotics. So mine is called probiotic power. Uh, same as in the last video, start with the recommended dose for the kids. If it is a kid that is older, you know, nine, 10, 12 years old, and they can swallow pills, then go for the bifidophilus flora force. It's a dairy free capsule. It's going to be way more powerful than the kids one, and it's going to be a lot more cost effective. So um, you can always break up capsules and open them up if you want to use an adult, a regular one, and use it for a child that can't swallow pills. That's totally fine. But if you want something yummy, get the chewable probiotic power. Start with the recommended dose. If they don't get loose stools, dose up by one a day until they get loose stools, and then back down by one because loose stools is where you find that your maximum threshold is. Got it? Note for the Silver Shield, um, no matter who you're giving it to, whether it's a newborn or adult or anybody in between, um, it has to be um, away from salty food. Um, so just if you think about just doing it on an empty stomach, it's going to be fine because salty food will deactivate um, Silver Shield or any colloidal silver for that matter. Um, silver Shield is not just colloidal silver too, by the way. It's a patented product that's safe for high dose, long-term use, far different than colloidal silver that you're going to pick up at a health food store. So if you're going to use anything high dosing, or long-term use, do not get what you get in a health food store. Um, so we talked about silver, the probiotic power. Your third thing, again, if you suspect parasites or pretty significant conditions, add essential shield. Um, that is a, uh, an essential oil blend that I carry. It's got 11 essential oils in it. Use one or two drops for a, a child. Um, blend it with some coconut oil or carrier oil, and then rub it on the liver. Your liver is on your right rib cage, right under your right breast, um, and just massage it into there. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, just put it on the palms of your hands or the soles of their feet, um, and it will go into the bloodstream within three seconds and be in every cell in the body in 30 minutes. The stuff is awesome. Um, great option for kids who don't want to drink or swallow pills anything like that. Um, and that product is going to be antibacterial. So it's an antibiotic, um, antiviral, antiparasitic. It's going to help build the immune system. You can put it directly in the diluted oils, put it directly on um, an eczema rash or psoriasis or whatever. Um, and then lastly, chlorophyll. So mine is called liquid chlorophyll ES. It's a great gentle daily detox. It's going to alkalize the blood purify the blood, flush the liver, um, build the blood, build the immune system without overstimulating it because again that is key. So with silver and chlorophyll and using probiotics and then that essential um, oil blend, you're going to build the immune system without overstimulating and that's key because if I'm recommending this for just general a general video for whoever's going to watch this, we can't choose products that are going to overstimulate the immune system in case we're dealing with somebody with autoimmune conditions. So like echinacea as an herb, people know about that as being an immune system uh, builder, but it's an immune stimulator. So if you overstimulate the immune system, you can do more damage than good. So you've got to know what you're doing. You've got to know good products and how to use them. So people claim that natural medicine doesn't work because A, they're wanting to buy the cheapest thing on the shelf. B, they don't know how to use them. and They don't know how to pick the right products for what they're dealing with. You can't just base it on symptoms. You have to know this, what, what the symptom that's presenting, what's the root of it, and then how do you work towards supporting the body properly to get through it and, and actually heal. So I love teaching this stuff. Keep asking me questions. I will make videos and answer them for you as much as I can. If you have more specific questions, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. I work with people all over the country. Um, I make it as affordable as possible. More details about that are on my website at happyhealthychristian.com. Um, but you guys post, ask questions, and I will try to answer your questions as best I can. All right. I love you guys, and um, I'm praying for you. Bye-bye.